Welcome back to our channel, Retired and Loving It. I'm Terry. And I'm Keith. And welcome back to another Coffee Talk. Yes. Grab your cup of coffee and let's talk. Today we're going to talk about how to stay social in retirement. And this is a viewer comment where they wanted us to talk about it. Yes. It is so important in retirement to stay social, to have your friends, to have people to, to meet together. Man, that is something that we always try to do is try to socialize with as many people as possible. It's so easy when you retire to just want to stay home and become a recluse. And that's not what we want to do. No. Uh, it's important for our mental health to stay active and stay social. So we're going to talk some, about some different ways that we yep. can do that. Um, the first thing I think of is if you're involved in a church at all, there's usually church groups that you can in, get involved with. Our church has a food pantry yes. um, where, you know, you could volunteer. There's just plenty of places uh, for a senior. If you, if you don't need the pay, you could go and volunteer and be around other people. Yeah, talking about volunteering, where I used to work, which was Lifespan Resources, uh, they were always looking for volunteers. Uh, they were always wanting volunteers to help in the meal program. You could go down and get a free meal if you if you uh, helped out and volunteered. And you get to meet people, they play bingo. They had senior games uh, once a year for a whole week or 10 days. And it's just a great way to, to not only meet people, to help people out by volunteering. It's a great socializing. And the program that he was talking about is state and nationally funded. So uh, if you don't live in the area that we do, I'm sure around the country there are similar programs yes. for the aging uh, that have these programs. Mm -hmm. and. We have a meal site down in our local town where people go and they get a meal. You have a suggested donation, but you pay whatever you feel you can. And it gets people together. It gets them out of the house. They have different activities. One thing we love to do is um, go on bus trips. Yes. Uh, you get on a bus and they take you one time we went yeah. to Nashville. And um, that was through the parks department, wasn't it? Right. Through the parks department. So there's just different things that you can do to get out and about and see people and stay active socially. This is so good, even mentally, to be around other people, to talk to them, whether they're just about everyday events, whether they're about your families, get to know them. It's just so good to talk with other people. And there's there's all kinds of senior clubs. You know, there's walking clubs, if, if you're into walking. Uh, we just recently attended, they call it Senior Executive Club, and it's put on by one of our local nursing homes. But once a month, people over 65 can come, have a free brunch, and then they have a speaker come in, and it's very interesting. Very we interesting. get to meet new people, and there's just all kinds of things that you could do. So don't stay in your house yeah. and watch TV all day, and when there's so much out there that you could do yeah. uh, to stay socially active. There's all kinds of senior clubs, through the YMCA, there are groups. I mean, there's just all kinds of things. If you look, <laughs> that yes. you could do. Um, yeah. Yeah. So if you're a type of person that just wants to stay around town and be home quite a bit, but want to really can't afford anything, or, or if you're a type of person that that enjoys people, there's so many places that you can volunteer. Like at the hospital, like I said, where I work there, the Lifespan Resources. Uh, you could go to the YMCA's looking for people to volunteer. Most anybody will gladly say, yeah, we'll take a volunteer. We need a volunteer. And it's helping you out and it's helping them out. Just a win-win situation. Yes, it's so important to stay active, not only physically, but socially. Uh, it does help your mental health because otherwise you 
are just in your four walls and you think about yeah. you and your problems. And it's always good to get a different perspective on things. Yes. You know, we might think that we've got the biggest problems in the world until we get around other people and we hear their situation and there's always people in a worse spot than you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it, it's good to, you know, get out and learn about different mm -hmm. people's situations and to know, you know, you can be really grateful for what we have and the health that we have. And so many people are looking just for wisdom in their situation. And it's kind of true, the older you get, the more wisdom you have. Uh, you been there, done that, so you could offer your wisdom, you know, how you went through their journey, the same situation they had, or just give them good sound advice, or just be a listening ear. Yes, so many people today, that's all they need is somebody they know that listens and that cares. Um, and we can all do that. We can all sit and be a listening, caring ear for another person. So, in your retirement, let's Stay active socially and get out there and do things yeah. and keep yourself mentally healthy as well as your physical health. So step out of your comfort zone. You know, you might just want to sit in your pajamas all day in the recliner watching TV, but we have to make choices sometime to get out of our comfort zone Maybe do something that you think, well, I probably wouldn't like that. Give it a try. You might think, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. I love it. Uh, a lot of people in our area have started playing pickleball and talk about, oh my gosh, it's the greatest thing. Yeah. We've never played pickleball, but we might someday. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there's just so much out there. And even after you retire, your life needs to have a purpose. And there's so much that you could contribute to as a retired person. And your life isn't over, it's just beginning. That's right. And so let's get out there and, and socialize with other people. Just be an encouragement to them. You'd be amazed about how much better you'll feel about yourself too, that you know someone can't wait to talk to you, that the company you're volunteering for appreciates you, and just good knowing that you're doing something good. Maybe not the thing you thought you would be doing, but you're doing something good and you're helping people out. So let's stay not only physically active, Yes. let's stay socially active. And that might take some doing and stepping out of the box, stepping out of your comfort zone, yes. but it would, it's gonna be well worth it. Because as we age, we can mentally decline yeah. if we don't have that social interaction with other people. As we age, we have to make that effort to stay uh, socially connected to other people because if we don't make that effort to do it, we won't. And so then we can start mentally declining and that's not what we want. Yeah. We want to be vibrant in our older age. I hate to say old age, but <laughs> in our, in our senior years, we can we can stay vibrant yes, we can. and keep ourselves mentally sharp. And we do that by staying socially active. Yes. If you can think of something that you would like for us to talk about in a coffee talk, leave it in the comments. We'll see you next time on Retired and, and Loving, loving it. it. If you'd like to see more of our videos, click the video that just popped up on your screen.